To create a new FAQ entry from your LibAnswers dashboard, go under the Ticket and FAQ menu and then select Create a New Ticket. Make sure that you're on the New FAQ Entry tab. The first thing you'll do is set the group for the FAQ. Most interns will only have access to the draft FAQs and that may show as your default. If you have access to other queues, you'll need to click on the drop down menu and select Draft FAQs. The question field is where you put the main heading or title of your FAQ entry. Essentially, this is the question that's being asked. The next two fields on this page are optional and seldom used. You can include details to provide additional context about the question being asked, but very few FAQs have this. One that does is the where can I find picture books question. This has a detail section that describes what the curriculum collection is and where it's located. If the entry question can be answered with one to two clear sentences, then go ahead and include a short answer, but most FAQs don't have this field filled out. In the case of the entry that I'm creating on DOI numbers, I've just included a definition of what the term DOI means. Note that the short answer box cannot include any formatted texts or links. When you've completed filling out your question, your details if you have them, or your short answer if you have them, click Save Question and Continue. This will take you to where you fill out the bulk of the FAQ entry, which is the Answer page. Using the main rich text editor, the main big text field on the page, enter your FAQ answer, including any formatting like headings, images, or hyperlink text that you want to include. As you work on drafting your FAQ answer text, be sure to click on Save Answer Text regularly to make sure you don't lose any progress if you happen to close your browser or experience any sort of computer issues. You can also make changes to your short answer text and save those as well. Along the right hand side, you'll see the option to add topics and add keywords. When this FAQ is published, it's going to be moved into the main general FAQ group where it will be visible to the public. At that time, it's going to be signed a new topic associated with that group and new keywords associated with that group. So there's nothing you need to do with these right now. Once you've filled out your answer text, you can go in and upload any files you'd like associated with this FAQ. This is rare, very few FAQs have files associated with them. You might add any links, so you can include external links. And you can also add links to other FAQs and search them here. So I want to add that what is search at UW FAQ, among others. Once you've added all your links, you can then go and choose to add any how-to videos that you think might be useful. Go to Add Media Item, enter the title, and then paste some embed code. If you add a video, make sure to edit the iframe size. So width, we can do 100%. And height, we want to keep it to about 500. And then click Add Media. When you've added all your media links and files and you're happy with your FAQ text, be sure to save your answer and save your short answer text as well. Be sure to preview your work to make sure that it makes sense in a published view and that everything is included. And then I want you to change the status, essentially publishing this draft to let me know that it's ready. So you're gonna click on change status and this is going to be a part of the draft FAQs group. So since that group is private and can't be seen by the public, it doesn't matter that we're publishing this draft FAQ. So once you've changed it to publish, click save and then click okay on the little pop-up and you should have um, a save FAQ in the drafts FAQ group. Next, go to the Tickets and FAQ drop-down menu, select FAQ Knowledge Base, and then under the Group Filter, select Draft FAQs. Again, if you're an intern, this might be the only content you're seeing. If not, click Filter, all right, and then I can see my FAQ. From there, you'll contact Heidi Anasco, the Instructional Design Librarian, who will help you engage with the next steps of this process, which will include changing the group of the FAQs to the general FAQ group, adding a topic, and adding keywords.